I am ready. You ready? Are you ready, Brick Maniacs? Because it is time for another episode of Brick Mania TV. Ooh, I changed it up. Maniacs today on Brickmania TV. Dan joins me, and he's going to talk about his Panzer IV OSF G. That's right. That's right. Talk about it, Dan. What do we got? Panzer IV OSF G. Those of you old enough to remember will know that this is the this is basically the first World War II kit Brickmania released after um, my retirement. Ooh. <laughs> so 2009, I believe it's 2009, um, put out a similar kit to this. I think it was tan, um, but basically the first. Uh, Panzer IV. I'd actually designed it way back in like 2003, but then quit doing Brickmania for for a little bit of a hiatus. And um, when I came back, when I was persuaded to come back and make kits, this is the, this was the one that was, was ready to this go. This was the one that line. brought you out of retirement, right? So it's, it's a little bit different than this, though. It's uh, um, you know, this 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 version basically is is completely updated. It's the same sure. model, but it's it's uh, it's there's a lot of updates have gone into it. So cool. Um, so How about we talk about some history of, of uh, the Panzer IV? Okay, well, for those who don't know, the Panzer IV was the uh, German Army's main battle tank of World War II, main gun tank. Uh, it started out, the development started in, in the 30s before the actual war even started uh, in secret. Basically the idea of this would be the uh, German infantry tank. This would follow along the infantry, had a short barrel 75mm uh, gun which was designed to destroy enemy fortifications or uh, troop concentrations, that kind of thing. It wasn't, wasn't designed to, to fight other tanks. Uh, as the war went on, the Germans encountered more and more uh, heavier opposition, bigger guns on the, uh, you know, the Allied tanks, so the Russians and the British and the Americans. Uh, so they decided to put this long barrel, this is a, uh, it's a long barrel 75 millimeter gun, similar to the Pac-40, uh, or uh, yeah, Pac-40 anti-tank gun. Uh, high velocity shell. Uh, this thing will take out, easily take on, uh, you know, help you know, defeat the Soviet T-34, um, the American Sherman tanks, that kind of thing. So very nice. This is this this is the gun that the tank ended the war with. So okay. real transitional period. The Alsop G was the first time that they actually used this gun. Um, sometimes you'd be hear, you're referred to as the F2. So Alsop F2. Cool. Uh, any notable battles? I mean, which battle wasn't part of, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Panzer IV was everywhere. Yeah. Um, you think of like you know. The hist history books and and and, and uh, um, movies, popular culture always talks about the tigers, tigers, tiger this, tiger that. Uh, really, it was the Panzer IV was the backbone of the German army. It was there from beginning to end. There we go. So, cool. it, and also the basis for all kinds of like mobile artillery pieces. Uh, this this hull was also used for various tank destroyers, uh, anti mobile anti aircraft guns, at tr uh, uh, ammunition carriers, armored recovery vehicles, etc. There we go. Uh, incredibly, incredibly uh, popular tank. Very well, or um, I guess what was people people's perception of the tank? Sorry, question. <laughs> right, right. They're everywhere. They're, they're, they're everywhere in World War II. Everywhere the German army was. Yeah. Um, there was also extensive modifications made. This is kind of at the peak. This, this at this point, they'd start adding the side skirts on the turret and yeah. on the side armor. Um, but I made the stripped down version because this is how it first appeared. There we go. Uh, so you mentioned that this is an update of a previous build that you have done. Um, yes. And you, what are the most major updates that you, you did to this? Model? Well, the suspension is different. I mean, the running gear is different. Um, basically, used a different set of, of wheels, different attachments. Um, wanted to get it lower to the ground. <laughs> My original one was about two or three plates taller. Um, so this this kind of uh, um, changes some some height deficiencies. Of course, my original version had Lego chain links instead of uh, the Brickmania track okay, so links. So now we have the Brickmania track links. Or, yeah, yeah. Yep, those Brickmania are brick track link. links rolling yep. even on this smooth surface. Yeah, it's not. Get some rolling it's not ideal on. surface to be rolling a, a tank across. But uh, yeah, they are they are Brickmania track links. These are the uh, um, one and a half wide track links, yep. so, uh, which is about ideal for this era. Um, it does have some other, you know, the turret's lower, some, I, I can go over the, the, Do the, the features real quick. Do it. So one thing that I think got missed and every time we talked about this previously is that it does have the antenna that goes up and down. That's exactly the way that it would, would happen on the real tank. Uh, the original Panzer IV had, or the, the earlier Panzer IVs had a little bar that would knock the antenna over as it went by. Um, they, they got rid of it, but uh, 
you know, it's supposed to be spring loaded, it would basically bounce back. Spring back right back up. That's yep. cool. Yep. So I do like this design where uh, um, it actually it's it's kind of harder to break that antenna off. That, that's pretty common <laughs> in some kits. Just yeah, they usually fly with the one stud connection, but the clip is a nice connection. It, it clip, yeah, it's easy. You can you can take it off real 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 easy. Um, it does have some three opening hatches. You got you have the the Panzer Commander. This is the just the straight up. German yeah, simple printed. Panzer Commander uh, that we've done. We've, we've had this guy available more or less in this in this form for several years now. But yep. if it's if it's if it's if it's good, why bother replacing yeah. it? So you, get, you do get a Panzer Commander. He has the opening hatches up on top here. Off uh, down. So his main the main on the cupola there. We have the main uh, hatch for the commander. But we also have these side hatches, like just yeah. like on the real the real uh, Panzer IV has these side hatches on the turret. You can see you can see, right see straight through, through it. Yep, yeah, yeah, you can. Of course you can. So those those do open and close real easy. Um, not a heck of a lot else it does. It, it turn the, ro the gun rotates or turret rotates. You can elevate the barrel, depress the barrel, um, we go. just like on the real thing. Um, fortunately, you don't have any guys that can fit inside. It's just the hull isn't even tall enough. So if you were to put guys inside, they'd have to be reclined at some like um, unnatural position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's it. It's just basically this is designed that, uh, to be something that we are going to have year round. Um, we'll keep it in production as long as we can keep getting the parts. Right. Um, so the last couple of Panzers we've done, uh, they seem to have come and gone real quick. They were sort of more limited edition. Well, this is this is the opposite. This is real bread and butter. Um, it does have the Brick Arms MG34 built into the hull. Um, Fits we'll perfectly see. through that Technic brick. Yeah. Which is cool. Yep. Very cool. Um, so we're also uh, trying some trying out something new here. Uh, copy number one. Dan is actually going to sign that. Right. This is this is something that we've done for. Um, the, this is the second kit. Yes. We've done this for. So we're going to be doing that for the rest of the year. We're doing a benefit auction. It's going to benefit the pro, some of the proceeds will go to um, pets for vets. Mm -hmm. um, but we, this has been suggested that we do this because people have been um, missing out on number opportunities. Some people really one. like getting that first copy. So, Understandably, they're cool so kids. On eBay right now, the link will be below. Um, mm -hmm. You'll be able to do this. I mean, it's it's actually going to be by the time that you see this video, you'll have like basically 24 hours to uh, to jump on this to get your chance to get number one. If you miss this one, look at the the next kit. Every time we release a new kit, uh, we'll be doing this uh, we until further notice. But so Dan is going to sign that right now. Both. So it's also going to include a certificate. Certificate of authenticity as well. Which is which this, which we you haven't seen. If the older people who remember the older brick mini kits will remember what this is. Mm -hmm. We should put this in every every larger kit that we that we did. Um, we stopped doing it a while ago because there was just so many things to sign. We stopped signing boxes. You would go on the road and then you'd get back and it would just be hours and hours of right. signing. <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to sign everything for hours. So, you know, who would have thought brick mini would have gotten so big? So, cool. so now we're, we're bringing that back, but it's just for the number one copy right now. Sure. So we're gonna get the, we're gonna record this here also on his camera. Hold on. <laughs> this is one of one million. No, I don't know how many. Go for it. Perfect. There you go. That was like perfect timing. We got here. So cool. that's awesome, Dan. You signed that number one. Yeah, number one. Posted note not included. For the yeah. <laughs> it's to remind me that it's kit number one, so it doesn't randomly get sent out to somebody. Um, so that'll be uh, the winner will be out Sunday for that one. Um, Very cool. It'll happen automatically. You can pay for it right through eBay. The donation will be sent automatically. It'll be great. Cool. Pets for vets. Pets for vets. Right on. Um, with that, that is the episode of Brickmania TV, and we have the super awesome all new Panzer IV. Awesome G, designed by Daniel Siskind. For more information on this kit and a bunch of other cool kits just like it. Um, Go to brickmania.com. Play with my tank. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. No, it's not a mug holder. It could be a cargo mug holder. Tactical mug holder. Oh, it rolls now. Because <laughs> that thing's heavy. <laughs> kind of. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Wait, put that on top. Are you sure you want that on top? You're drinking it on it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh this is the KV2 now, right? Or wait, which is the yeah, the cool. Russian tank? <laughs> the Panzer IV model KV2. Hey, oh man, you had it. Why did I touch it? <laughs> Perfect. What? What do you want Turn me to do? The Brickmania logo, sir. Ooh. Today on Brickmania TV, we have the all new uh, Panzer IV Ossif KV2, designed by Dan Siskind and the Russians. <laughs>